Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing okay, staying safe, not going too crazy in your head. But if you are, well, here's something to work on. In this episode, I want to talk about some scripting. I know this could be very intimidating for some of you. You guys just want to be artists and stuff and create, but I promise you this will speed up your workflow so much that you get to the nitty gritty. You won't be spending time with the annoying, monotonous things. To quote the great Eric Pavey, if you have to do something more than twice, you might as well write a script for it. So let's dive in. Let's start by bringing in our module. Now yeah, let's just import cmds as mc, cloning it as mc. So whenever I call it mc, I will call up that module. Now module is going to be like a bag of tools. Uh, now I'm going to caveat this with I am not a programmer, so you're not going to hear a lot of programming terms. What you're going to hear is perspective from an animator that could code some. Okay. So, uh, what I like to do is list out uh, a little framework of just comments on what I planted uh, a my plan of attack on, on this code, just to help get your you know thought process in order. This may learn from Pavy, obviously. Uh, so, let's start uh, this script. Um, something uh, which would be very helpful because I've heard it several times requested. And that's whatever you select, set it to zero, right? That's something that you could possibly do over and over again. So first thing we're going to do is uh, identify. Let's identify what is selected. Okay, next thing we're going to have to get those attributes, right? Those keyable ones. Uh, those keyable ones. And then the last thing that we'll need to do is actually apply it. Now, this kind of framework, as far as identifying what you want to uh, isolate and then isolating its attribute or whatever uh, aspect of the, the objects that you're uh, um, isolating, and then applying it, this is very, very common. This is something that you could. Uh, find out what the action is that you, you want to apply from this output window. Of course, you want to echo all commands whenever you, you do a command inside its, the UI. Um, and, and then just apply to the same framework. But before we jump into some of the syntax, let's go over some of the resources you have right in the tips of your fingers here. We'll jump right into the Python, my, uh, Python command reference. And this brings you to this. Uh, the, the whole library of what that those tools are that we brought in with the module. So the first one we'll be looking at is LS. Now, I just want to show you how this is formatted for you to read. Give you a little hint. Here's the command, followed by what they expect you to have is the first argument. In here is the object in uh, targeted, and then of course you have all your flags here. Now flags are going to ask for uh, certain uh, uh, values itself after that. It's going to be a boolean, a string, so boolean is being one or zero, or a string uh, being words, and then, um, you know, this doesn't have it, but ints and whole numbers, integers, obviously, and floats as decimals. That's generally your types that you to expect. Then you're going to find a bunch of descriptions on uh, whatever the flag is that you want uh, uh, to use there and followed by a lot of well sometimes a lot of uh, examples here and this is very helpful too just to see how it's applied and that's the quickest overview I could think of uh, so let's jump into it uh, MC dot LS that's what we just looked up and we'll go forward with parentheses and the first thing we look for is the flag is selection this already so of course it's going to call for a boolean so I can either go true or one but uh, we'll just go, go true on this one with that now I'm going to execute by control enter on this oh I forgot to execute this part so MC means something here uh, nothing selected yes that's true and we'll remedy that 
my uh, in this hand and bring it again and there you go you see an output window make that bigger as well and you can see that in this uh, square bracket here which actually indicates a list so there's more than one object here a little hint of where we're going to go after that um, but um, yeah that's what's returning it's going to always return a list uh, with that we're going to have to apply um, give it a, a variable right just like in algebra solving for x we'll name it give x a name here um, so let's call it uh, flex and we'll just do that so now if we execute on that now we will have select is that value the list um, now of course selects itself is a list so uh, by putting the square brackets on here we can access the index of it so it, in uh, Python zero is the beginning of the list the index here so this will be the first thing in the list zero okay. so let's get that again you see it, the same thing comes up now without the square brackets so it's, it's actually an object now the next thing we will look for is is see where I put it is the adder so of course C done this adder and I'm gonna be doing that object and what we're gonna do is look for the keyboard and execute on that and you see all the keyboard attributes to what is selected now of course obviously I've uh, showed you just how to identify an object in that list now that's not what we wanted to do with our script right this is we want to apply to all objects so we have to create a loop out of it so this was just temporary just for example let's give it make it a loop here so um, so what this just is right here I've created another variable or really it's uh, 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 iterator of this list so it's uh, another variable really var variable name for uh, each of the objects in here so for cell in selects is going to be each object in this this uh, list we're going to do something to it now when you hit return you can see that it's actually indented and Python cares about the formats so tabbing in or spaces uh, I'm not going to tell you what you want to use what's your preference but uh, it, it uh, encapsulates this as uh, as far as the scope of what the loop is this belongs in the loop now the, these two lines here it's all contained in one itself so it's going to return this command obviously we already ran it so it returns this list now we got to give it a, a we assign it a variable too so um, bad name so we'll do that so in that list it's going to be captured in that uh, in uh, this um, variable but obviously it's kicking back another list so in our apply we're going to have to also make a loop to follow so That's another loop in there. Now, the last thing we're going to do, we will apply. So, let's go look at what we're going to be doing is a uh, uh, set adder, set attribute. So, we're going to return to that help dot here just to let me show you something. So, what we're going to do based off the information we've had, we're just looking at an example here. 
and what we actually need is that object name and the leaf uh, attribute to be able to use it. That's what they're expecting, uh, the full attribute name, and then followed by uh, a value. And in our case, it's going to be zero. Right? <clears throat> so we do have it. We have cell is the object itself that we would use here. But we have to do a little bit of concatenating. So we're going to connect all these uh, strings. Uh, so we need a dot in there. So then we're going to add the tree name. And it's, uh, oh, that's a horrible name. Oh, I guess that's fine. It is a horrible name. Uh, and with that being said, it should give us the full name and then followed by the value we want, and that's zero in this case. So, uh, <clears throat> and most of the time we will come across problems, <clears throat> and that's where we'll, we'll have a lot more debugging line by line, that sort of thing, if you're not using any kind of tool. Now I'm just going to move this over so you can see in this uh, this channel right here uh, that this thing works. So hopefully it works. And highlight all of it, Control Enter, and we see that the scale just moved down to zero, or of course it's, it would allow me to, because uh, you can't scale to zero. And we could test that by having multiple selections. To it. Sorry, I'm on my. Uh, I'm on the trackpad. <clears throat> Trying to do that. And go to the right, and then we can see it all turns into an execution. And that's it. Now, you could apply this to many things. Uh, again, uh, whatever you, you want to have kicked out of the. Uh, like you see right here. This was just a, already a selection. You could apply this to a selection if you want to put it in a list instead of a list selection. And that is it. All right, everyone. I hope you guys got something out of it. Stay safe. Do what you need to do to get through this. Uh, we'll see you on the other side. Bye.